Let's turn our Bibles to Psalms chapter 37 verse 25. It says, I have been young and now am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging for bread. In the next verse, in the 26th verse, it says, He is ever lending generously and his children become a blessing. We see the psalmist here declaring a testimony and also a promise. What does his testimony say is, you know what, I have been young and now I'm old. And I can say it boldly. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. When you talk about the righteous, the definition of righteousness that the world has is you have to do a lot of good deeds to be righteous. But we know that no man is good, right? We all, even though we do good deeds, sometimes our intentions are not really good. Sometimes our intentions are not really good. You know what I mean, right? Sometimes even our thoughts are not right. But the righteousness that God defines is a righteousness that comes through faith in Christ. That means my righteousness is not based on what or who I am, but based on my relationship with Jesus. It is his righteousness that I put upon me. So now his promises that his testimony, the psalmist's testimony is that a righteous man or the, the righteous are not forsaken. God will not forsake. That means he will not put you in a crisis and leave you there alone. You will not face stormy weather or, or calamities and be all alone. He will be there to help you. He will be there to be your strength. He will be there to guide you. You will not be forsaken. On the contrary, he says, his children, that means the righteous children, the children of the righteous ones, they will never be begging for bread. That means God will be their provider. God will look after their needs. You know, for those of us who are connected to God in the time of the lockdown, when everything was shut, shops were shut, Many of them have called me up and testified. We would pray and God would meet our needs. We would seek God even though we had no money or even though the shops were shut. But God would provide our need. And that's a promise. I have seen it in my lifetime. I have seen it for the last 20 years, 22 years to be precise. I've seen God never forsaking the righteous always meeting his people at their point of need and his promises his children the righteous children the children of the righteous will never be begging for bread but goes on further and says he is ever lending such people who who are connected to god who god looks up to who god promises that he will never forsake such people are lenders are givers why? Because they know their provision comes from God. When you know that your source is God, you will never be afraid to share what you have. When you know that it is God who meets your every need, you will not be afraid even though there is calamity around because you know God is your source. He says he is ever lending and his children become a blessing. I'm sure you want your children to be a blessing, right? Not only be blessed, but be a blessing. Be a blessing to you and be a blessing to the world around. Today we look at parents complaining that their children are not walking the right way, that their children are abusing them. Well, I want to tell you, stop looking at your children. Stop focusing on your children. Focus on your walk with God and he will transform your children. Set your life right with God. Because the promise is that the righteous will not be forsaken. If you are connected to God, the promise still stands. You will not be forsaken. Your children will not be begging for bread. And they will become a blessing 
to you and you will be a giver why because you know your provider your source your help is god god bless you